What up, though? It is your girl. Welcome back to another episode of Real Talking Healthy Food. I'm glad you came back if you're tuning in. So we back with some healthy food. Today we are making vegan jambalaya, my style. You know, the good style. So I looked up a few recipes and as usual, they look janky as fuck. So I am here as normal to show you how to do it. The good way. And by the way, your girl is celebrating 10 whole years of being vegetarian. And I haven't eaten dairy since August. Well, I can't really claim it because of my veggie burgers. But oh well, vegetarian for 10 years. So let's get to these ingredients. Shall we? Yellow squash and zucchini. Tomatoes. Purple and green onions, purple to fry, green for later. Mushrooms, got to have the mushrooms for texture. Dark red, unsalted kidney beans. Garlic, tomato paste. Vegan sausage, no soy. Basmati rice. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Jalapenos. For the seasoning, vegetable stock, garlic powder, and black pepper. Paprika. We gonna call it hot pepper because I can never get that right. If you know how to pronounce it, help your girl. Turmeric for the rice in those joints. Water. Now that we got our ingredients, we gonna get this shit cracking, okay? Now, before we get this cracking, uh, I would like to know what you think about my other videos and, you know, how you feel about some of the things that I discussed. Uh, as always, all opinions are welcome. We are not always going to agree on everything, but just let me know what you think. i just like to know. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. Oh my God, I thought I was recording. Fucking up. I sneeze on the record. <laughs> so the question initially is, I would like to know what you think on... The topics I discussed before, um, we're not always going to agree on everything. However, I really would like to know what you think about any topics I discussed. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and we're going to get this popping, okay? I forgot to mention olive oil. I'll be using this and country car plant butter. The only thing I got. So, eventually, as I always say, once we could get accustomed to a nutrient-dense diet, I will be replacing these items with better and healthier options. But as of now, this is where my knowledge is limited. Um, I am currently looking to drop... Well, I've naturally been dropping my weight since I stopped eating dairy. I have my roommate just told me, "Hey, you're looking a lot smaller," and I didn't even know because I fucked my leg up riding scooters and shit. And I haven't been able to exercise, and I was worried that I was getting fat again. But apparently, that's not the case. So that's good news. I didn't even know. I've been kind of depressed and whatnot, but. Um, I've been really depressed, and that's why I missed last week uh, meal prep. But I'm getting back to my normal self and the things that I normally do week to week. Just trying to get through my depression. It's been really hard. It's hard every day. Um, just accepting the fact that you have a mental disorder. But we're going to get this crack. So, be back. You gotta forgive me, bro. How could we ever make jambalaya without peppers? Now, 
this is all about being cost effective. So I couldn't do a dollar per pepper, not for a full week. So I sometimes go with the frozen because frozen is also a healthy option. So I got the red and green peppers, and it comes with white onions. I really don't like the white onions all like that, but that's what it is. So forgive me in regard to the ingredients, but that's the complete ingredient. So I'm heating up my oil, and I'll be back. Okay, right now we are browning our peppers, onions, garlic. We're going to cook this to it's nice and brown. Separately, I'm going to cook my mushrooms, yellow squash, and green zucchini. But I'm going to cook this hard. So we're going to basically... Not only brown it, but overcook it slightly for texture. Now that it's brown, I added tomatoes and we're going to saute that up till it's nice and cook down. Okay? I thought I'd share with you um, that first, there's, I add one round of tomatoes. And then I'm going to add, once that's cooked down, I'm going to add more tomatoes. And then when it's time to add the rice, that's when I'll add the rest. So I wanted to give you that little tidbit because in my mind, it just tastes better that way. So, see you in a minute. Now we got the squash and zucchini and mushrooms cooked down. We're going to cook them down a little bit more, cook them hard with that little bit of crisp so we can keep the texture when we add the rice and cook it for another 20 minutes. Now we got our sausage here. I seasoned it with um, garlic powder and pepper and this is the chorizo um, vegan sausage. So what I'm going to do is bake this for 20 minutes, and I'll be back. And you know what? Just for fun this time, I added my jalapenos in there, and I'm mixing it around, and I'm going to bake it. I like to use parchment paper because foil sticks, and with um, parchment paper, you have a cleaner finish. So this is what it looks like, and I'll be back. Now, before we add the rice, we're going to mix all this together, the beans, zucchini, mushrooms, and everything together, and let it cook a little bit, and I'll be right back again. All right, so we about almost done, so let's get our cups popping. Now, cups of water, you, we're going to add... Two, that's one, two, and a little bit of extra, extra, because I put a little extra rice in there, so, but because I'm super extra, I am going to add some of the mix. So instead of just adding the water, it's going to be like a broth. So just a scoop of that. Because that's what I have extra of that vegetable bean mix. And we're going to let that cook. And then that's when we're going to make our rice, okay? While the broth is cooking, add the rice and mix. And then I'll be back again. Hey y'all, I just wanted to give you a quick preview. It's not done, but I just wanted to show y'all what it should look like. Okay, yours should be looking as beautiful as mine. I'm going to add a little bit more water, throw the vegan sausage in there, and I'll see y'all in a minute. The sausage is still in the oven, so once that's like a little overdone, then I'm going to add it to this moistness so then it can keep its same consistency. You in a minute. 
Now, once you add your vegan sausage, this is what it should look like. Oh my God. 